Hello and welcome back to Pico TV. This time we have something for the newcomers to the hobby. In this film we're going to be looking at various sources of inspiration for building your model railway and look at our publications and templates plus our great range of track tools to help with the build of your layout. But first you need a plan. You can get ideas from model railway shows and exhibitions to see what other people are doing. Plus visiting your local heritage and modern day railways can also be a great source of inspiration. Pico Publications produces a series of books in the Pico Modelers Library series. Two of these publications we highly recommend if you're starting out. Your Guide to Railway Modeling and Layout Construction, which gives great advice on planning and model making skills for beginners, plus a compendium of track plans to suit all locations, with dedicated track plans for N scale, double O and O gauges, with helpful shopping lists should you wish to duplicate one of these plans for your own layout. Another important publication for the beginner is the Pico Catalogue, which has a complete list of all of our products that we produce, but it also gives more valuable hints and tips on how to get the best out of your model railway. There are also the Pico Shows You How series of small books to help with each individual step of your journey. Not forgetting Britain's best-selling model railway magazine, the Railway Modeler and the Continental Modeler, which showcase the best and the brightest of British model railway talent at every level. Then once you've decided what the layout is going to be, draft out a sketch and visit the Pico website and select the required templates. Download the PDF and print it out, but you'll need to make sure the printer is set to actual size or 100% scale. This is very important, otherwise your template will not be the correct size and the geometry will be wrong. You can use the measurement guide on each template to ensure the correct size and then cut out and place on your baseboard. You can move it around the baseboard and make sure everything fits correctly and then when it looks right you can glue it into position. Then you can lay your track over the top. Pico produces an excellent range of tools to help with track laying. If you're working with set track, the 6 foot weigh gauge is an incredibly important tool which will help you to get your track spacings correct. However, this tool also gives the correct spacings for Pico Streamline track. Another important tool is the Pico British 00 scale ruler. And for people who are working predominantly with Streamline track, the track setter templates which are also available in 00HO scale and N and 009 scale. And not forgetting the Pico Tools Track Layers toolset, the PT100, which has everything you need to get started. So now we've given you an idea of what tools and publications you need to get started, the final step is to reach out to your local Pico retailer and model shop. You can find them by using the Find Stockist section on our website and enter your postcode and the nearest store will appear. Your local retailer is more than just a shop. They have a vast amount of experience and knowledge of all things model railway and they are always there on hand to give advice. They'll be able to guide you through your shopping list and even make suggestions to improve your design. So now it's over to you to let your creative mind be free and check out our recommendations to feed your creativity. So until the next time, happy modeling.